Decoy. <laughs> Plan C, the old bait and switch, the oldest trick in the book. What is it? You tell this guy it's you and your brother versus him and his brother. He agrees, Andy steps back, and I step in. You do that? You fight for me? <laughs> There's not going to be any fight, okay? These guys are going to be out of there so quick, you won't even see their skid marks. <laughs> Master Kim says the two warrior fights alone. Master Kim works nights at 7 Eleven. <laughs> So who should know better than him? Is that wedding toast done yet? The rehearsal dinner's tonight. I'm completely blocked. If I could just find a thread, some tidbit to latch on to. You mean a cute little story about how they fell in love? It wasn't love at first sight. In fact, they despised each other. If it wasn't for that killer hurricane and that power line that came crashing down, they would never have been trapped in an elevator for three and a half hours. That fateful incubator, all their hate turned to passion. <laughs> Too bad you don't have a cute story, Lloyd. All I need is a thread, some little tidbit. Hey, Lloyd. Stop hounding me, Lou. I'll find you a husband. I'm a matchmaker, not a short order cook. <laughs> That's right, today's the big date, huh? It's just coffee, Joe. Just a simple, courtesy cup of coffee. Ooh, coffee? Oh, I know the type. He'll probably sprinkle some cinnamon on his phone while he talks about his feelings. Well, you know, not all men are slaves to testosterone, Roman. No, you're right. Just the ones between 13 and 65. <laughs> Joe, can I borrow your leather jacket, man? Uh, Come on, it's my first fight. I want to make a good impression. You're not a bleeder, are you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's not going to be any fight. Look, just pick Andy up and meet me at the gym at 4 o'clock. Don't be late. I won't. <laughs> his first fight, you know, it seems like just yesterday, Matt was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh, God, that was yesterday. You know, this is how people get hurt, Joe. No, Lou, this is how people stay in one piece with quick, decisive action. No, you are such a bonehead. You don't even realize you're taking him down a road. To, to what? Survival? What do you want him to do? Invite the bullies over to share his feelings over a hot cup of coffee? <laughs> Look at them go. There's no accounting for chemistry. They're always fighting if they seem to like it. It's as if opposites... Attract? Yes! <laughs> Mark my words, little one. Those two are meant for each other. Well, you know, if men were willing to talk over coffee, there would be no war. No, there would still be wars. We'd just be fighting twice as long because we'd be up all night. <laughs> My name is Bond. James Bond. Hi, James. Oh, uh, hi, Joe. It's okay. Everybody does that. So how's the toast coming, pal? Uh, I'm completely blocked. I mean, what can you say about two people whose love will blossom and create their own paradise on Earth? Lloyd, that is beautiful. Sure, but it doesn't help me with the damn toast. It's quarter to four, Joe. You better get a move on. Wouldn't want you to miss the big showdown. Hey, I'm not going to hit the kids, all right? I'm just going to scare them off. Just so you're going to scare off that guy as soon as he meets you. <laughs> hey, guys, um, I need a hand with some stuff in the storeroom in the back. Could you give me a hand with it? I mean, I'm all dressed up. But it'll only take a minute. Okay, quick. Hurry up. Uh, they should be in the far corner. That's right over there, just a little further. What do you want, Lloyd? Right there, right over there. <laughs> hey! Lloyd, the door's closed. Lloyd, the door's locked. Lloyd! Lloyd! Ting. Ting. Come on, Lloyd, open the door. It was very funny, but guess what? The joke's over. You know what? He is like a great big old dog that has outlived its usefulness, and I tell you what, I'm going to take him out back, and I'm going to shoot him. You're not advocating violence. It was a metaphor, Joe. Lloyd is not a dog, and I don't own a gun. I'm trapped in a closet with a man who worships at the altar of the literal. It's not really an altar, right? Right. How could he do this to me? He knows I have a date. Maybe the guy got one look at you and paid Lloyd off. Shut up. The final touch. <laughs> Why would he do this? There's got to be a rational explanation. Lou, it's Lloyd. <laughs> Listen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> the enclosed space, the elevator music... <laughs> he thinks his sparks are going to fly. Oh. What, you and me? Oh, no offense, Roman, but pigs are going to fly before sparks do. 
Hey, don't flatter yourself, all right? Am I sparking? Do you see any sparks? Well, how would I know what you look like when you spark? Believe me, I light up like a Christmas tree. You can read by my sparks, all right? When I'm sparking, you don't have to ask if I'm sparking because the sparks speak for themselves. Okay, shut up, Sparky. I gotta get out of here. My date is starting without me. Yeah, well, Matt's fight is starting without me. Oh, my God, that's right. Oh, Joe, you really gotta get out of here. I know. He'll be okay, though, because I gave him a few pointers. All he has to do is just stand his ground. I never seen you run so fast. I can't believe Joe never showed. The bait and switch. Who knew I was the bait? It was like you were the flash. You were telling me if you were the flash, right? You know why Joe's doing this, don't you? To toughen me up. Sure, throw him out in the pool, see if he swims. Look at me, Joe. Club, club, club. <laughs> Master Kim says the man who faces combat has already won. Yeah, well, the last thing Master Kim said to me was, shut freezer door, you melt popsicle. <laughs> hey, how about this window? You know what? Let's see if we can get this window open. Here, I'll give you a boost. See, now this is exactly what you pulled.